Bonjour, je suis à Paris, still à Paris, behind me there, the Notre Dame, which is being repaired, there's a crane and everything, I'm by uh, the Notre Dame Aria station, and I'm very excited to introduce my special guest, come on in, 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 hello, hello. it's... Hello, bonjour. Bonjour, Johan? Yeah. Am I getting that right? Perfect. You run a YouTube channel called... Le Ferrovipat. And whilst in Paris, I thought I'd come and say hello to you, and today yeah. we're going to go and do... La gare la moins fréquentée du RER. That is the least used sort of technicality RER station which is called Chemin d'Anthony. Our train is here. That was extremely fortunate, right? Yeah. Straight onto the bay. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. How long is the walk? 20 minutes. But we but get, we'll walk fast. But we can get the train back to Paris from I on, hope so. on the sea. Okay. Just tell me the name of your YouTube channel is Le Ferrovipat. Okay, could you explain why it's called that? Because I've never known why why it's called that. So it's a common uh, word in French which comes from ferroviaire which means railways, and pat, which is from the Greek, patos, which means uh, passion or enthusiast. Okay, right. So Ferrovi pat, right. railway enthusiast. And on your channel, there's lots of like, you know, secrets of the Paris Metro style, yeah. style videos, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. Link in the description <laughs> to your <laughs> channel. Are we here? We're Anthony. We're Anthony. And we got to walk or get the bus? Yeah. Which? We'll see if the bus is there. Let's walk, do a walk. Let's walk, let's walk. Can I get a drink? Alright, I've got a drink. I've got a hot drink. I'm happy. Merci, monsieur. Okay. Uh, of course. We didn't get a pret a manger. Yeah, How do you feel yeah. about pret a manger, which is, you know, appearing in Paris using French words? It's. It was quite strange at the beginning, knowing it's English. <laughs> right. <laughs> are we here? Yes, we are. This is it? It's Chemin d'Anthony. It seems very quiet. So this is. The invisible ticket barrier. I this, can what, go. This line. Here. <laughs> this line. Without validating. This is, I, I have to tap in. Well, ha, well oh, I've just. And I now ju I can go. I just. I won't no. over without. Oh, oh, what's I doing? Whoa, I don't the ticket barrier. <laughs> the ticket barrier. What always gets me is how low, how low it is. Like British platforms are much higher than the track. I'm just putting my cup in the. Uh, well, that goes in there. But here, I know a bin is La Poubelle. Yeah. Breeze is actually L La Brise, B-R-I-S-E, La Brise. So, yeah. Le Sac Poubelle dans La Brise. Perfect. A blowing bin bag in the breeze. Exactly. En français. And the train's coming. And, then, and uh, this one's not stopping. Yeah. Wow, fast train. Normally there's no fast train. Fast here. train coming through, okay. You said that this is it gets a half hourly service, yeah. but yeah. it's an important connection for freight and other services? Yeah, there is a lot of TGV trains from uh, southwest France to uh, east and north France. So there's a lot of TGV trains coming here, so a lot of fast going trains. Now you, you watch all my least used stations videos rel religiously, right? Of course. Yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have to quickly do the whole. There are bins, la, yeah, la poubelle, oui? yeah. Let's, yeah. let's do it all in French. La poubelle. Uh, is there a... Des poubelles. Des poubelles. Thank you. <laughs> Dot matrix displays, how are we going to say that? Uh, des écrans d'information. There are those, oui? Yeah. Okay. We have a clock. Horloge. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no waiting shelters, but you know, the, the, the platforms are under canopies, right? Ooh, what's, what's French for canopy? Uh, marquise. I love that. I love that. Marquise. What else? There is, there's a little car park out the side here. Parking. Parking. That's English. <laughs> Thank well, you. Mm, quite sort of. There was a ticket machine. Uh, Distributeur automatique. Yes. Yeah. Un, deux. Un seul, je crois. Okay. Uh, how do you, oh, and there's an underpass. There's no footbridge. We'll walk under the subway in a minute. It's, it's, souterrain. it's not staffed. No. And there's no shop. There's no tobacco. Nothing. <laughs> nothing here. Just nothing. There is a high school. There's a school. Okay. That's, that's it. If it's an RER station, why does the signage say SNCF? Not RAT. Hang on. Is RER part of RATP or part of SNCF? Both. Oh, don't <laughs> say both. That's what? Metro is RATP. Yeah, fully RATP for the moment. 
RER is both? Yeah. RER A is 80% uh, RATP, 20% SNCF. Oh. RER B is 50-50. RER C is fully SNCF. But this is no more confusing than they say what we have in London where the new Elizabeth line yeah. is, is TFL run, but it, they're national rail stations, so it's a weird combo. Yeah. Even the overground is TFL run, but they're listed as national rail stations. So it's the same kind of, it's the same kind of strange mix. And we should yeah. do the other platform by, uh, we've got to do the, the funky underpass walking shots. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's go. Let's go. In front, en français. Yeah. Allons-y. That's quite an orange 1970s feel underpass. Oh, there's a Massey à la train, à la, à la yeah. So we get another train coming past. Oh, past the magic barrier again. <laughs> See, one thing that Paris has, yeah. double-decker trains. Yeah. There's Everywhere. so much better, they're so good. When they built the Elizabeth Line in London, yeah. TFL, why didn't you consider making them double-decker trains? I know why, because bridge height restrictions yeah, out. Yeah, the rest of the, the network. rest of the network is the answer, obviously. But just wouldn't it be great to have double-height trains in England, in London? Slightly cheeky, off camera earlier. Everywhere I go in France, obviously, you see the signs saying "sortie," sortie being. French for exit, but in London, of course, we have the security message, see it, say it, sorted. Every time, Johan, I see sortie, I just, in my head, my head goes, see it, say it, sortie, just to be hilarious. But we did, I did get you to do off camera Which earlier. <laughs> Let's learn the French for see it, say it, sorted. And you came up with, vois-le, dis-le, c'est réglé. Say it again. Vois-le, dis-le, vois-le, vois-le, as in see it. Yeah, dis-le, dis-le. Yes, it's done. It's done. It's It doesn't scan as well, does it? No. Okay, but that, is the, li- that is the literal Trent French for yeah. it <laughs> We're on the seats at uh, Chaumont Dant- Dantonet. Yeah. Let's do the obvious thing, Johan. It's the least used RER station except it isn't only on a technicality. Yeah. Could you explain why, please? Like Chemin d'Antony is a least used station with all your service to and from Paris, but the actual least used is Le Plessis Chenet, uh, back in the south of the suburbs, really far. Because there are some bits of the RER that are just little shuffle services, yeah, which are very, it. very unused. Yeah, very, but, very unused. But we chose this one because it, you can get a direct train from the city centre. Exactly. And that seemed like a fair. A fair way of doing yeah. it. Yeah, and it's in the urban core, so it's part of the urban like network. Paris. But you have done a video. Yeah. On the so this is where you get to plug your other video. <laughs> so if you want to see the the real, real least used RER station, you can go to my channel. If you, if you point to that corner, point to that m- magically point. There we go. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere like somewhere this. Somewhere like that. <laughs> So how many passengers per per annum does the other one get? The other do, one do, is roughly, roughly 50,000 okay. per year. And this one is 218,000. Can we divide that by 365? Shall I get my calculator? Uh, hang on. 218,000? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hang on a second. Is that exact or...? Uh, uh, there are uh, more, uh, more figures afterwards, but... Okay, it's 600, just, 600 under, um, just under 600 people a day. Yeah. So that is, that is quiet, okay. Yeah. What zone is this in? This is zone... Zone 4, okay. so the uh, before last. Yeah. Would so. most people use the other Antony station? That's it. Do you think? And no, I can hear another train. train. <laughs> oh, what is it? What Fate. is it? Oh, it's a huge train. Let's get, let's get this, let's get this. Small, small. Not straight. Infrastructure. Maintenance. There's one other teeny thing we're going to do while we're here, is it just down the way, let me get this right, the Olival Shuttle, which is, is it 
is it like a tram or a transit train? No, it's a uh, light metro. A light metro for uh, the airport? Uh, yeah, automatic. It runs by here, yeah. but it doesn't connect here, Not but we all. can just see it here. Exactly. It's an automatic driverless shuttle. So it connects exactly. all the airport to where? To Anthony Station on ORB. Okay. We saw just before. Never. We found, is it a basketball pitch? Yeah, we found, No, this is like a small the... hockey pitch. <laughs> Nothing. Some kind of... <laughs> Sports pitches built on top of a car park with a view down onto both the RER and what is it called? The Orly. Orlyval. Okay, which is a shuttle. Yeah. Which at the moment costs nine euro, you say? Nine but they're euro. extending Metro Lean 14. Yeah. Down, and when that extends down, do you think the, sh the shuttle might. Hang on, camera. New camera position. You think the shuttle might be retired when the metro is extended there because is everybody high possibilities yeah everybody will just take the metro of course uh let's get one more shot of the trains going by and then we, are we going to wait for the train or are we going to walk back to anthony and uh, i think the train will come let's uh, hope so <laughs> let's hope so <laughs> you've got to go somewhere else this afternoon i'm just going to ride metro trains again all afternoon <laughs> in, in paris okay all right let's get let's get a closing shot We're waiting for our train back. I've got the Paris Metro map up on my phone. I've just been asking uh, Johan like random questions like, uh, <laughs> when you change from here to here, is it there? Or where's the line that comes down and does this? And you know all the answers. Yeah. Which is great. So uh, this is a beautiful thing. You're, you're, like the, you're like the Parisian me. Would you say, because you know, I feel like I know the London Underground. I know every station and every staircase yeah. and every corridor and every platform and every interchange. If people ask me, I'm not trying to brag. It's just, I just have that knowledge because it's just instilled within me over many, yeah. many years. Are you the same? Do you think you know every platform, every connection? I think so. Extent, so yeah. anything I was to ask you, you would be like, yep, yeah, that's it does that and over that and down there. Definitely, you you yeah. have that just that built in knowledge <laughs> yeah. of the entire network. It's really exciting. Yeah, I, right? I built it, yeah, I built it. <laughs> but that means when all the new stuff comes in, you're gonna be really excited. Yeah. To, to go I'm very eager to see that coming. Right. You've got so, so much new stuff to learn. Yeah. So like when we had Crossrail to learn, we had I had to go and walk every passageway and every lift <laughs> and every yeah. corridor. You'll be doing this. The same thing. Yeah. So plug your channel once again. Le Ferrovipat. How, how, <laughs> how do you say subscribe en, en français? Abonnez-vous. Oh, great, Abonnez great work. Okay, I'm going to learn that new word. Okay, so subscribe to my channel. Abonnez-vous à ma chaîne. Go watch some of his videos and we just uh, wait for our train any second now. Yeah. Or maybe minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. High five. Very good. Merci, monsieur. Merci à vous aussi. <laughs>